God is dawn. Like and subscribe. Comment some night. Nice love in this light. This God is dawn. God is dawn. God is dawn. Peace world. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Goddess Dawn. And I'm here today to talk to you about Pisces season. Yes. These chill vibes. So Pisces season is here with us from February 19th through March 20th. The energies typically linger two weeks after the season ends. But right now we're at the tail end of it. Collectively, some of us may be having more vivid dreams or lucid dreams even. Some of us may be feeling and expressing more emotion. It's definitely the time to surrender and feel through the emotions. That's what Pisces are known for, right? Emotions are inevitable, but they are also what shape our reality. So we have to be careful facing them and feeling through them as we experience different things as humans, we go through things and other people tend to be attached to some of the things that we go through individually. Other people can affect us in different ways. Some tend to push our buttons and because of our proximity, whether it be work or family or what have you, you're forced to deal with them. So be sure you're making your boundaries clear Go within in the silence and shower them with love. See them visually. See yourselves happy and joyful and enjoying one another's presence with clean boundary markers in place. Feel gratitude for this newfound peace. Call it a truce, if you will, a peaceful truce. In the silence is where you have counsel with your higher self and your guides too. This is where you commune. The silence is your safe space to release and receive and heal. It's where you and you alone have license to be, do and say whatever it is you want without judgment, rules, regulations. Pisces season is the end of the astrological new year. The perfect time to go within into the silence, to let go of old, outdated commitments. It's the greatest time to disengage from any oaths or vows that you may have made with your soul in the past. Subconsciously, promises that you may have once made to yourself that maybe didn't work out as planned or just no longer serve you on your journey of self-discovery. Make a list of these things and then burn it, discard it. It's time for a clean slate, a space to birth new ideas and nourish a community or create a community of people around you who are like-minded and like-hearted to build with. It's time for unity with those who are on the same page. Everybody ain't ready for the evolution. Everybody ain't able. This is the time to put the energy spent on things and people not aligned with your path to those who are. Most of us are still finding our soul family. This platform is my beacon of light, my bat signal for lack of a better term. I know you warriors, have heeded the call, but there are more of you out there. This is me blowing my trumpet, <laughs> ringing my bell. Seriously, it's time to dream big, y'all. Every season is approaching all fire energy. It's gonna be time to shift from chill mode to drill mode, power up and power through mode. Remember, it's the eve of the Astro New Year and we are entering the age of Aquarius from big dreams to big moves, shifting from people pushing your buttons to pushing the button. Reset and go time. Go big or go home. You've got it. Everything you need, you've got it. 
Just hit the gas, baby. Pull the trigger, pop the cork. And while you're doing all of that, drink your water because we'll be shifting from Pisces energy, cool, calm waters to hot, fiery, airy season. As a matter of fact, drink more water. Keep the Pisces energy alive, though, by doing more listening than talking, being more inclusive, being community minded and feeling through your emotions. Don't ignore them, but don't dwell on them either. And of course, stay in prayer. Pisces, it's a prayerful energy. Be mindful of the dark side of Pisces energy, though. It's divisiveness, passivity, addiction, and vulnerability. Addiction masks pain, so don't hide from it. Again, feel through your emotions. Victimhood is another Piscean trait. Watch that. A good way to get your power back is through music. Music is powerful. And forgiveness, it's the way to peace. With the new moon in Pisces that debuted last night on March 13th, it's a good time to let go of hurt and anger. Spend time in the moonlight. Let the moon energy absorb it. It's healing energy, restorative. Take advantage of that. You know, moon energy is said to be wish granting energy. So shoot your shot. What miracles do you wish to see happen? Go into the silence. See it in your mind's eye. Imagine it clearly and then write it down and speak it to the moon. It's the full moon that's most effective. So remember to dream big. I'm gonna leave it here. Till next time, y'all. Thank you. Peace.